building wind farms, you have to connect them to the shore. When we're doing this, we have to clear the corridor of bombs from the Second World War, with millions of bombs uh, in the German and Dutch sector of the North Sea. Here at Delta Alice and the Delta Plume, we are simulating big waves, big storm surges, to predict if objects can be mobilized into a already cleared corridor. We are here in the Delta Flume. Delta Flume of Deltares is a very big flume. Uh, we have a wave board over there, which is that blue wall. And that blue wall can be moved forward and backward. We can generate here the largest artificial waves of the world. This is nine and a half meters deep. The wave flume is five meters wide which means that we have just a slice out of the North Sea that we are simulating here. For a small piece of seabed that we have modeled here, this is an English bomb that has been dropped by the RAF in the North Sea. It's not real. No, none of these bombs are real. Um, we have uh, made them with the same weight as the real bombs, but we used concrete and steel. Then we have a cylinder bomb. This uh, cylinder is a schematized bomb as we find them on the bottom of the North Sea. Normally they have a, a round nose here and they have wings on the other side. The bomb is already buried a little bit into the sand. This is the position as we find them on the bottom of the North Sea. And uh, here we have the third bomb. This is the meanest one. This is a German mine. This mine has been installed with instruments to measure the motion of the, of the bomb. Let's fill it up. In reality, we have a storm that generates the waves, but here we need to use the wave board. The delta flume of Deltaris is 300 meters long, and the waves are running through the flume and uh, give also a water motion at the bottom of the flume. And there the bombs are that can move forward and backward, and that is what we are going to measure. Okay, let's look at the results of the test. We enter here the uh, control room of the Delta Flume. And here the uh, tests are recorded. Here on the computer you see the results. The red line is the uh, cylinder bomb that has gone down into a scour hole. And you see it also rocking a little bit in the waves. The same thing also for the uh, German mine, the, ball, the, the, the sphere. It has gone down a little bit into a scour hole and also is even more rocking. Uh, it is going like that in the, in the waves. And uh, the German, the, the, the British bomb only uh, went down a little bit into a scour hole. So what we can conclude for, from these results is uh, that uh, we feared that the bombs would uh, get all the way out of their erosion hole, but they don't. They just bury themselves into the sand, even for these severe wave conditions. We can make work more safer and um, more efficient and more cost efficient for us.